today. I'm going back in the suit. I ordered it on Amazon and it said one size fits all. Let me try it on. It says extra large. Let me try it on. Let's see. Turn the camera. Tyvek. The reason I wanted this kind of suit is because it has the hood and the booties. Oh no. There we go. For some reason, things take me like 10 times longer than the normal person. Face. All right, let's try that. Let me put the camera back here. I am prepared. Yeah, so this is what I'm wearing today. This is essentially what I wore to grind down the hole before. And I'm just going to put me a little sash right here like before. That way I can actually do some work. And I'm going to wear gloves and earplugs and goggles and a mask and boots. It's gonna match my tank top. I was kind of hoping that if I waited long enough before going back to working on the hole, somehow it would grind itself. But it's now been almost a month and yes, I was gone for 11 of those days and the hole has not grinded itself. He needs me to do it. All of these little blisters where there's some delimination here between the fiberglass layers, that's where, that's where water collected. And so the little holes that you see are where I punctured the blisters. And now that I'm coming back about a month later, the, it's all dried out. And I'm going to go and bevel out the perimeter of this delimination and there's quite a bit, so I've heard the best way to repair these is to cut out circles and fiberglass them on. So that will be the next step after I go and do the whole hole. I also, before I do that, I want to grind down the through holes, which I should grind. I should grab that grinding plate today. And I want them to move these blocks so I can get underneath there too. This should go pretty fast compared to the work it took to get the bottom paint down to the fiberglass. Um, but there are some spots I need to touch up on like around the back of the boat and the bottom of the keel and also the bootstrap. But I was trying to reserve a little bit of the waterline. I think I might be able to still do that if, if I'm careful. The other option is to take measurements. It's snowing.
I just grinded out this through hole. It started to rain and I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I think it's close to noon. So I'm gonna take a break and get some water. And a friend, Ellis, he's bringing over his other little die grinder thing. So it'll be easier for me to get these blisters doubled out. This is exhausting work. But I'm almost done with today's work. It's hot out there. Mm. I'm almost out of water. Gotta get more water today too, drinking water. This is empty and this is empty. whole bootstrap off and I beveled out all the blisters on the port side, grinded out all the through holes and finished a little bit of the bow actually and got the port side underneath the keel as far down as I could reach. And that's a good day. Also finished up the stern and grounded where the um, grinding plates were and the through holes. <laughs> that was a busy day. I just drove all the way out to another hardware store because the other hardware store did not have 60 grit, 60 grit. I need 10. And this one also does not have 60 grit. So I'm going to go back to the first one. But I got a fun motor ride, so that was cool. The hardware store in town has 80 grit, which is not ideal, but it will work. Turns out I've been putting the grinding disc things on the wrong way. I've been doing it like this, but if you put it on like this, which another worker showed me, then when you put it like this, it fits perfectly and it doesn't move. I can't believe I have been doing it wrong the entire time I was grinding the boat down. And this is how I fit in my yoga practice. This is a tool that my buddy boat booby trap Ellis, Lisa and Ellis, they let me borrow to bevel to grind out the pink fillers in the hole. I'll go show you that. The pink is gone now obviously because I've already grinded it out, but 
it worked really, really well for getting the pink stuff out. My through holes have bolts through them. Since it's just me, I'm setting this little wrench thing. Hopefully it hits that and then I can go outside and unscrew it with this big thing. I got it to rest against the block inside, but the bolt's on too tight and I can't get the bolt unscrewed from the nut. Well, at least I got the tools that I needed. I had to go back into town to get this stuff. And now I need to go find somebody to help me. gonna take an hour. I kind of wish I had somebody who was as devoted to this boat as I am. It would make projects a lot easier. I'm having a really hard time getting the bolts out. So I grinded the head off of this one and I'm thinking I can push it through because it shouldn't be threaded through the hole. So I'm gonna try to do that. Um, and I got a lot of them to do like that. Well, since I can't get that hardware off, I just talked to Isaac to see if I could hire a guy for an hour tomorrow. I'm going to get the chain plates off, the ones that aren't supporting the mast right now, and see about, I mean, I'm just trying to make progress, I'm just trying to make progress. Yeah, I got all the bolts pushed flush, so let's go outside and see if I can pull them out. Hmm. The bolts are pushing out. Oh yeah. I've been having a really tough day today because I realized I don't have everything I need in order to continue working on the boat. And I need epoxy and I need barrier coat. And both of those are very expensive. And it's going to be fine. I know it's going to be fine. But I really need to get the boat back in the water because then I'll save on yard fees and all that sort of stuff. And the progress is just going to be really good for my motivation. But Today I was trying to figure out where I could get epoxy and barrier coat and then I realized I'm going to have to order it and import it and that's just like oh, almost a thousand dollars. And I'm scared, you know, that's what's going on is I'm scared and I'm letting fear mess with my mind. And I just feel like I got nothing done on the boat today. But I learned a lot about the process of applying fiberglass on a boat. And I made a lot of progress, I guess, mentally. But I'm the type of person who just goes, goes, goes on the boat. And then I kind of reach a point where I can't go anymore. And I have to transition to something else. And I'm just like... Oh my gosh, I'm such a failure because I'm I'm lazy, I'm not doing anything, and I don't really give myself a break from that. I just beat myself up over it. And I'm so worried I'm gonna lose my following if I don't have more boat projects or things like that, but I know something else will come in and take its place, so I have nothing to worry about. But I just look at my boat, it's a mess, chain plates are out, so there's holes in the side of the boat, blisters are open, and I'm just ready to get a coat of barrier paint on the hull to help protect the fiberglass and stuff.
and I guess I know I'm, I'm like, there's no rush. I can take my time, but I really want to go sailing. <laughs> I'm so afraid that if I don't get my hat together and get the boat ready to go sailing, that I'll lose it and I'll never be able to do it again. <sighs> it's so hard to stay focused on a goal that seems so unattainable. <laughs> I've done so much already. I've done so much. I know. She was putting the boat back together. Like, I found the boat. I'm buying the boat, I got the boat hauled out, I stripped the hull, stripped the rudder, I got a whole bunch of stuff ordered. Like, the hard part is done. Now it's just being patient. It's just being patient. And I went on a boat ride today and I go to the top of the hill and I look out over the ocean and it's like, wow, I sailed across that body of water to get here. And part of me is a little bit afraid to go back out there. It's like, can I actually do it? Will I be able to sail? Or will I be too scared? Or will I have forgotten everything that that I've known for a lifetime. It's hard to be on a boat on the hard. I feel like I'm not really a cruiser. I feel like I'm separate from the pack. only temporary and I will I will get back out there watch me since recording that pitiful pity party video I went ahead and dug into my last thousand dollars I have no money left <laughs> but I got the barrier coat and the epoxy I got inner protect 2000 E and I got the West system five to one. I got two gallons of that. I got a little bit of help getting the epoxy and stuff. So thank you for that. And my copper coat, which by the way, I'm now an affiliate for copper coat. So I can get you a discount if you drop the sailing art of channel name. And I also make a little commission off of your purchase. So that'd be super cool. I'll talk a little bit about copper coat later on. Anyway, the epoxy, the berry coat, and the copper coat is going to be, should be here by the end of the month. And then I'm going to need a couple extra hands to actually apply it all because it's all two part and like cures and everything. So I'm just, and I know somebody here who's applied copper coat before. So that's going to be a separate video. But anyway, I'm doing a good job. Everything's under control. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to take my time beveling out the waterline, getting the hardware out, and repairing the blisters and all that stuff. And that's going to be a separate video. And I'm also going to have fun. And I'm going to explore a little bit of the country. And I'm going to share that with you. So thanks for supporting me, following my journey, to all my patrons, all of you on YouTube. We're getting there. 